Prenatal Diagnosis Prenatal Diagnosis Prenatal Diagnosis or Prenatal Screening is test for disease or conditions in a fetus or embryo before it is born. The aim is to dictate birth defect such as Down syndrome, chromosome abnormalities, genetic diseases and other conditions. Reasons for Prenatal Diagnosis 1. To enable timely medical or surgical treatment of a condition before or after birth. 2. To give the parent the chance to abort a fetus with a diagnosed condition. 3. To give parent the ch chance to prepare psychologically, socially, financially and medically for a baby with a health problem or disability or the likelihood of stillbirth. Methods include amniocentesis with karyotyping and prenatal ultrasound used to identify the sex of the baby. In many countries including India, health care providers are expected to with withhold this information from parents. Diagnostic prenatal testing can be by invasive or non-invasive methods. An invasive method involves probes or needle being inserted into the uterus and non Invasive technique include examination of the wombs. Example for invasive amniocentesis, chorionic villus sampling. Example for non invasive ultrasonography, CT scan, and MRI scan. Amniocentesis. Amniocentesis involves taking a sample of the amniotic fluid and the fetal cell from the sample are grown and then analyzed for the presence or absence of certain chromosome, gene or enzyme. It is done mostly usually from the 14th to 18th week of pregnancy. because there is little amniotic fluid before the 14th week after LNMP amniocentesis is difficult to perform before this period. LNMP is the volume of amniotic fluid is approximately 200 ml and 20 to 30 ml can be safely withdraw. It is done by an experiment instead a physician who is guided by ultrasonography for outlining the position of the fetus and the placenta. Amniotic fluid The fluid that surrounds the baby during pregnancy is known as amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid is collected by inserting a hollow needle through the mother's anterior abdominal and uterine walls into the amniotic cavity by piercing the amnion and the chorion. Amnion is an inner membrane that surrounds the embryo. Chorion a membrane that surrounds a developing fetus in conjunction with the amnion. A syringe is attached and the fluid is withdrawn. The cells in the fluid are cultured and multiplied in a suitable medium for further analysis. Amniocentesis is a common technique for detecting genetic diseases. More than 30 genetic disorders. They are Tay-Sachs diseases, Trisomy 13, 18 and 21, Turner syndrome, Klein filter syndrome, familial multiple malformations, sickle cell anemia, spina bifida.
Karyotype analysis and pattern studies after aminosynthesis will enable to detection of chromosomal anomalies and also determine the sex of the child. Thank you.